All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my second channel. Uh, this is my second channel. If you thought it was my main channel, it's actually not. It's my second channel. I saw a lot of comments on the last video I posted on this channel asking if it was my main channel. This is my second channel. So if you just stumbled upon this channel, go ahead and subscribe. This is the channel where I like to get a little bit goofier and a little bit crazier and, and wacky and fun. So... I also like to drink I also like to drink LaCroix on this channel. So a couple weeks ago I posted a video on this channel, my second channel, where I did a bunch of those like which YouTuber are you quizzes. And I took those quizzes in hopes of getting some kind of validation and recognition that I'm a real YouTuber. But unfortunately, I seem to have picked only quizzes where I wasn't even an option. Like, it seems like most of them were made before I even, like, started to make YouTube videos, or at least before I had, like, any real following on YouTube. And a good number of people called me out on that, and seemed to think that that was kind of silly of me. And it was. I was being pretty silly. But, luckily, this person named CreativeStar98 made this quiz on BuzzFeed called It's Time to Find Out Which Popular Commentary YouTuber you are. And this quiz must have become pretty popular because the official BuzzFeed Twitter account actually tweeted this quiz. And if you look right there, I'm actually like part of the quiz. I'm right on the cover there. So I'm going to take this quiz and I don't really care if I'm a YouTuber anymore because this quiz pretty much confirms that I already know I'm an option. I want to figure out now if I'm really me or if I'm maybe someone else. So I'm going to answer the questions to this quiz as honestly as I can, as true to myself as I can possibly be, and we'll see how I do. I'm kind of excited. This quiz was made for me, baby. Uh, the little tagline under the title here does say you are now entering Curtis Town. So I kind of feel like this person might be more of a Curtis fan than a me fan, but hopefully they still know enough about me to make this quiz correctly guess me. All right, first question. Your friend wears a whack pair of shoes. How do you respond? Uh, is yelling, what are those an option? What are those? Uh, no, it's not an option. Shit. Don't say anything, politely suggest that they change, roast the hell out of them, don't mention it, but spend the rest of the day thinking about it. <laughs> if my friend was wearing a whack pair of shoes, I definitely don't think I would ask them to change. Like, how whack would they have to be? Unless they said something really offensive on them or like, had swastikas on them. I don't know if I'd ask, <laughs> ask someone to change because I didn't like their shoes. Oh, that's what you're wearing? Oh. Can you, <laughs> can you change? You're making me uncomfortable. N I don't think I've ever asked one of my friends to change what they're wearing because it makes me uncomfortable. Roast the hell out of them? Maybe it depends on the shoes and it depends how close I am with the friend, but most likely I would probably not mention it and spend the rest of the day thinking about it. Mmm. That sweet, sweet taste of LaCroix. It's just like soda, but without the flavor. I'm trying to stop drinking soda, so I've been drinking LaCroix. It's okay. It's okay. How often do you create art slash content of some kind? Not too often, I like to put my all into my projects. Once in a blue moon. Pretty regularly. Sometimes I even make extra content on a very specific schedule every week, every day, etc. Um, I would say pretty regularly. Sometimes I even make extra content. In fact, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm posting on my second channel. Guys, this is my second channel. This is where I like to get a little bit goofy. Just, uh, just in case you were wondering, this isn't my main channel. So I'm gonna pick that one. Pick your least favorite internet trend. Country TikTok, YouTubers trying to become famous in Hollywood. That doesn't really bother me that much. That's fine. Weird children's content or FOMO posters? I want, I want to know what commentary YouTuber that is for. FOMO posters, like fear of missing out. I'm gonna say weird children's content because I've made quite a few videos about weird children's videos. So I feel like that most closely applies to me. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? Trashy reality TV, watching so bad they're good movies, unironically making TikToks, binging cringy YouTube videos. Hmm, there's a couple on here that I like. I really do like trashy reality TV. I watch The Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise. I just watched Love is Blind. Been watching a lot of Married at First Sight as well. So trashy reality TV is really up there. Watching so bad they're good movies. I do like doing that, but that's usually only for like when I'm going to make a video about it. It. I don't really do that in my free time that much. Unironically making TikToks, I sort of do that, but not very often. Yeah, I would say the thing I do most often is watch trashy reality TV, so I'm gonna say that. What's your relationship with social media? I post a lot of tweets that I delete later. I really only go online if I have a random funny post to make. I mostly post pictures of my
my significant other and my pet. I do a lot of stalking, but not a lot of posting. Out of these options, I would probably say I post a lot of tweets that I delete later. I do tend to do that. If you have my notifications on Twitter on, then you know. Sometimes I like to post things just for people who have my notifications on, so I tweet them and delete them really quickly. A lot of people don't understand what I'm doing, so they just think I delete a lot of tweets. But sometimes I like to just talk to the people who have my notifications on, so I do that. So I could understand how that could be me. Okay, I post a lot of tweets that I delete later. I'm gonna pick that. Of these places, which would you like to visit most? Okay, we got Canada, London, Greece, and Japan. Now, here's the thing. I can kind of tell who's who here. Japan is clearly me, because I just went to Japan last year. Canada, maybe Curtis, because he lives there. Greece, um... Okay, I don't know who the other two are really, but I'm pretty sure Japan is supposed to be me. But here's the thing is I already went to Japan and this question is asking which of these places I would like to visit most. And I've already been to Japan. In fact, I've been to Canada, London, and Japan. The only place on here I haven't been is Greece. So I'm gonna have to pick Greece. And I'm, <laughs> I'm a little worried about what that's gonna do to the results of this quiz, but I'm not about to lie and say I wanna go to Japan again before I go to Greece for the first time. So I'm picking that, and then I gotta get another sip of this LaCroix. <sighs> Your friend is having a rough day. How would you cheer them up? Okay, this is an interesting one. Have a sincere conversation about what's bugging them. Offer to take them out to do something fun. Invite them over to watch funny videos with me. Or make jokes and try to make them smile. Shit, man, I don't know. My friend is having a rough day. How would you cheer them up? I don't know whoever made this is is gonna judge this because like I when have I ever like online sh shown that my friend is having a rough day and I cheered them up when has that ever happened I don't know <laughs> like I've never made a video where like Curtis came over and he was all sad and I was like hey buddy I'm gonna make jokes to try to make you smile now so I don't I don't know how they're gonna judge this one but I guess offer to take them out and do something fun I think that would be nice to take their mind off of things we could go play laser tag or something what's something you like most about yourself. My ability to follow my dreams even if it's scary. My dreams are pretty scary. <laughs> I only have nightmares. I don't have dreams that I work towards. I have nightmares that I work away from. My artistic skills, my ability to be a good friend, my deep thinking and introspectiveness. I, it sounds a little pretentious to say my artistic skills, but I do like feeling creative. Like when I do something and I'm like, damn, that was smart or that was creative or funny. I really like that. I feel like that's really fulfilling. So I'm going to pick that, my artistic skills. What what would you bring with you to a deserted island? A whole bunch of junk food? <laughs> Who is that supposed to be? I feel like if that was me, I'd be like, what the fuck are you trying to say? An endless library of music, my laptop, or my pet? Uh, I definitely would not bring my pet to a deserted island. She would die. A bunch of junk food? No, probably not. I would probably bring my laptop. Provided there's like a charger somewhere, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my laptop. Okay, we might be getting close to the end here. I'm feeling pretty good about it so far. I have, I've answered very truthfully. I have looked deep down into my soul for the first time in years to answer these questions. So if I don't get me, there's something wrong, either with the person who made this quiz or with the way I see myself. And actually come to think of it, judging by all the responses to my doppelganger tier list, I'm gonna say there's definitely something wrong with the way I see myself. But shit, I might fuck around and blame somebody else. Pick your favorite quality in a significant other. Someone who is kind and understanding. Someone who doesn't mind keeping our love life private. Someone who can handle my dry jokes. And someone who supports all my strange endeavors. I don't know, I feel like all of these are kind of true to an extent. I think Laura's very supportive. I'm gonna pick someone who supports all my strange endeavors. She's willing to leave the room when I got a film. She's willing to film my weird ass music videos. I think being supportive is very important. But what's your opinion on marriage? It rules, dude. <laughs> marriage is sick. Oh shoot. Okay. This is the last question. I really got to make this count. The last question is what's the first thing people notice about you? My height, my flawless makeup, my eyes, or my hair. I'm trying to picture who these are each based off my height. At first I thought that that meant someone was like extremely tall. And I was trying to picture what commentary YouTuber like towers over everyone else. But I'm pretty sure this is referring to like either Cody or Noel because they have the whole short Kings thing. My flawless makeup, probably not me per se. Although the one time I did wear makeup for a video, it was, it was pretty good. So we're left with my eyes and my hair. You know, these are all pretty superficial. What if people notice like my sense of humor first? But no, everyone's got to be like, oh shit, he's, sh he's short or damn, his hair is weird. Uh, I'm going to go with eyes. You know what they say? Eyes are the gateway to the hair.
Man, what the fuck? Curtis? What? What answer? Okay. Huh? I answered these questions as truthfully as I could, and I get Curtis? That, uh, that dweeb? That absolute dweeb, Curtis? So the truth is out, huh? I'm really not me. I'm really Curtis. At the very least, I would expect to get Drew, because there's all those jokes about how we're the same person, but no, I get Curtis. Shirtless Curtis. This is not good news. Can I retake it? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing I did last time where I try to answer based off what the I think the person thinks about me. I'm gonna do it really quick. Lightning round. I'm gonna try to get me. Your friend does a whack pair of shoes. How do you respond? Uh... Politely suggest that they change. How often do you create art or content? I'm gonna say that pretty regularly. I still think that's true. What's your guilty pleasure? I guess watching so bad they're good movies or maybe binging cringy YouTube videos I'll say binging cringy YouTube videos because I feel like maybe watching so bad they're good movies could also apply to Drew Uh, I guess he watches cringy YouTube videos too though shit, man I don't know. What's your relationship with social media? I post a lot of tweets that I delete later I still think that's true. I, I'm not even changing many of these answers. Okay, if you could go to one place Where would you go? Japan? I guess I'm going to Japan again. If your friend is having a rough day How would you cheer them up? Invite them over to watch funny videos with me. Maybe that's like because you know, I sometimes do collabs with people so it's like I'm inviting people over to have watch fun videos with me but it's not because they're upset <laughs> yeah the only times I ever collab with Drew or Curtis or anyone is because they're upset and they're sad and I need to cheer them up what would you bring to a deserted island an endless library of music okay because I make music maybe the music thing has something to do with me what's your opinion on marriage it rules what's the first thing people notice about you okay so maybe my eyes wasn't right maybe I'll pick my hair okay <sighs> so I'm not me, we've already established that, but do I at least know me well enough to be able to guess me in the quiz? Let's find out. I'm picking my hair. I'm going for it. Nice. <laughs> All right, I did it. All I had to do was pretend to not be me and answer as someone who thinks they know me. And then I did it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is my second channel. This is where I like to get a little bit goofier and a little bit sillier, so make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna go finish my LaCroix.